I'm going to be getting rid of this orange, yellow, outdated look and give it a much more modern, updated look. Now, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. I'm just kind of going to dive right in and get right into it. So if you want to see me transform these nice stands into something a lot more desirable, then just keep watching. Here's the official before of these nice stands. I picked them up off of Facebook Marketplace. I offered the person $60 and mentioned I'd pick them up ASAP if they were available the same day, even though they were asking $100 and they accepted my offer. They are in excellent like new condition except they just look outdated. I do like the original wooden carved knobs but I will be changing those out. One thing I almost have never done in the past is label the drawers to know where they go and I think I'm definitely going to start doing that from now on to keep me from guessing. In this case I just labeled everything or L for left and right. There is a maker on the top drawers to make it a little bit easier for me. I don't have to label top or bottom. At this point, I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but I knew I wanted the old finish off. So I removed it using the QCS stripper. It works great and is a non-toxic formula, which makes it a plus. I sprayed a really good coat on it and after about 10 minutes, this is how much of that finish was removed. I like to scrape it off as much as possible and then go back in with some more and scrub it clean. So things have been a little bit different around here lately. We recently added a new member to the family and it's crazy because time is flying so fast that he's nearly three months old already. But as most of you know, life with a newborn can be pretty hectic. Life can get pretty busy sometimes and even more so for our household in this new season of life that sometimes we forget to do things that still need attention like changing our air filters. I don't know about y'all, but I've always been terrible about remembering to switch them out because it's just one of those things that just slips my mind and I just forget about, honestly. But if you're anything like me, you don't have to forget anymore. True Filter, the sponsor of today's video, provides filters directly to your door. They are a subscription-based company that provides one inch, two inch, four inch, and even five inch filters in different sizes and even manufacture custom size filters if you need them. They offer a variety of filters that fit your budget and you can select the subscription delivery frequency that fits your needs best. Merv filters capture things like pollen, dust mites, pet dander, mold spores, virus carriers, dust, and bacteria, to name a few. The higher the MERV level, the more efficient it is at filtering microscopic particles. It's important to replace your air filters and it is something that needs to happen frequently in order to remove some of those harmful particles. I am guilty of forgetting to do these things and if you are too, this subscription is amazing. Changing your filters out frequently also helps your HVAC system run smoothly. So buy air filters in bulk from True Filter to save more money per filter Subscribe and have them delivered right to your door so that you don't ever forget to replace them again. I will have a link down in the description if you're ready to stop forgetting to replace your air filters. Thank you again to True Filter for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the video. I didn't have any steel wool on hand, so I used an old dish sponge. After scrubbing, I just wiped it down with a napkin to remove any residue. You could spray it a little bit more just to get any leftover stickiness off. The cool thing about this stripper is you don't need anything in addition to to remove the residue. So that, like you don't have to use mineral spirits like you do with your traditional stripper. But they do offer a cleaner now, which they didn't use to. I have not tried that yet.
I repeated these steps until all of the sides of both nightstands were done. By then, I had ran to the store for some steel wool because the sponge didn't last past the drawers. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've already sanded that one down completely. I just need to sand this one down, but I wanted to show you the difference of what it looks like back to its natural raw wood state versus just removing the old finish. Now this, the old finish is completely off. You saw me strip it off with that QCS stripper, but you can still truly see how much more white and pretty that wood is compared to this one. And I think this alone just makes it look so much more modern than again, the old yellow orange that we had here before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sand this one along with the other two drawers. And then once everything is sanded, then we'll move on to the next step. I began sanding back to raw wood using first 150 grit followed by 220. I blew off as much of the dust as I could before going in and cleaning everything really good using some crud cutter. Instead of spraying it directly on the wood, I sprayed a good amount into the water instead just because I felt like because the raw wood was already exposed, I didn't want it to absorb too much of that head on. Instead, I diluted it with the water. As you can see, the drawers are in excellent condition just as the exterior was. Leave. To restain everything, I decided on a paint wash using the color Pure Earth from Bear. It's a nice, pretty tan neutral color. I did add a slip coat of water mist before adding the layer of paint wash but I added it to all the drawers before coming back and wiping it back with my microfiber cloth to give it enough time to penetrate. The slip coat just allows for a more cohesive adhesion and allows for it to be less streaky. I repeated this process for the rest as well.
Once it was completely dry, it was time to add a protective coat and I used a matte polycrylic. Before applying it with my sponge, I did remove any dust that might have been on them. You usually see me use a sprayer, but this was a smaller job, so I didn't feel like having to clean it up, especially with a newborn. I'm still trying to figure out his schedule and how that's working, and especially if I have my newborn and my toddler around. After doing the first set of drawers, I realized it was going to be hard to reach that middle part dividing the drawers, so I decided to remove them instead to make it a little bit easier. I did this until everything had a single layer of polycrylic, making sure to go in the direction of the wood grain. Once it was dry, I gave it a light sand by hand with a sanding sponge and repeated the entire process for another coat again. To finish them off, I added these more modern brass knobs, and I think they added just the perfect little touch of color and a little pop. Now let's remember what these nice stands used to look like. and what they look like now. I am convinced they will make a quick sell and hopefully they do because they look so much better and are no longer outdated. I will be posting these on my local Facebook marketplace so be sure to follow me over on Instagram if you don't already to stay updated on when and if they sell. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to stick around for next week as I tackle another set of nightstands to make over as I will for the rest of the month of October. I love y'all, be kind, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye.